Hi there, today we are working on base 10 form. So it's showing a number's value using base 10 blocks. These are your hundreds, tens, and ones. So since I have two hundreds, the value of these blocks is 200. Since I have four tens, the value of this is 40. And since I have five ones, the value of this is five. So in all, my base 10 form is showing me the value of 245. This is the most basic way to show 245. There are lots of ways to show 245. If I told you I had 50 cents in my pocket, there are lots of coins I could pull out and show you. I could show you two quarters, but that's not the only way. I could show you five dimes, 10 nickels, 50 pennies, and I could show you a mix of all of those together. I could show you a quarter, two dimes, and a nickel. No matter what I show you, I have 50 cents. There's lots of ways to represent a value. So for today, we're going to represent 245 in other ways. This is the most basic way, but it is not the only way. For example, um, I wanna take a hundreds block out. So since I took a hundred out, I must now replace my hundreds block with a hundreds of something else. So now I have 100. And I'm going to regroup this into 10 tens. So I'm taking this out and I'm trading it for 10 of these. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So now I have 100. I have 100 right here. This is still that hundreds block I traded. I still have the 40 and I have five ones. So 100 and 100 together is still 200. And then I have 40 and I have five. But ideally what you wanna do is you don't wanna leave this as 100. What it actually, even though it is 100, you'll see it on exams written like this, that you have 100, right? Like this is 100. This was 100 and this was 40, so together you have 140 tens and five ones. You still have the value of 245, but it's just shown in not your most basic way, in a different way, but it's still 245. You can also, I could take one of these tens, which will leave me with 130, and I can trade it in for 10 ones, which I already counted, but I can count to show you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I took a 10 stick out and I replaced it with 10 ones. I still have 245 because now I still have 100, 130, and now I have 10 and five, which makes 15. And if I were to add these together, I get 245. So there are lots of ways to show a number. It is not just the most basic way of, let me see what you can see, 245. There's lots of ways to show a number.